Let's see. All right. All right. So how are y'all doing tonight? We are going to do a Mother's Day wreath. I thought that would be fun. No, I don't want to sign in. <laughs> this takes forever, y'all, I swear. There it is. Okay. Now, let's see. So we're going to be using, oh, might help if I had my base. just finished dinner so I like have just a little bit of time to kind of get things going okay so we're going to be using uh, one of the evergreen bases this one is a 20 inch uh, it's from AC inspired wreaths so that's where I got this one okay we're going to use this purple um, the, it's the Deco Poly Mesh. It's that wide stripe. It's really pretty. And then we've got our ribbons. Can you see them? This is the sign. And we're gonna use something new. Check this out, y'all. You know how much I love ficus leaves, right? Look at these. They're purple. Yes, they are. They have all different colors now. Look, so last night I did, in my group, I did something with the purple and the pink. Look at the pink. So these are from um, Festive Creations by Stephanie. So we have a purple one of these and we have a pink one. So next time I'm live, we'll probably do the pink one. It's pink and blue, see it? All right, now. Let's go down. And this way. There we go. Okay. So we're going to get started with cutting the mesh. How are y'all tonight? Are you good? Anybody have a busy weekend plan? So I went with the lavender. You could do um, a darker purple, a green, white, any of those colors, really. Okay. I'm gonna put y'all down so you can see. Alrighty. So we're just gonna do 20 inches. I'll just set them up here while we get them done. So does anybody have big plans for the weekend? I love Easter because I get to see my family. So anytime I get to see my family, it's a good thing. We always have, um, we always have Easter lunch together, lunch, dinner. So, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Z's been having an interesting week. She's been babysitting. That is quite the challenge. Y'all, I am warm today. I don't know what it is. It's starting to get hot here. 
How's the weather we go on? It is like in the mid 70s here. So, yeah. Oh, man. Done. So isn't this pretty, this mesh? It's really pretty. Now the mesh came from Craft Outlet. a warped grapevine so what you could do is take it apart have you ever taken a grapevine apart just let the warp you know work with it take it apart and use it like that all right so what we're gonna do is fluff this out um I don't know that they're necessarily less expensive but here's what's uh, good to know about these so you can use less mesh with these and they take glue right so putting your florals and all that kind of stuff in is super easy with these they also hold up really well so I just kind of fluff them up. You just don't want it to lay flat. I like to just run my hands through it because I am not patient enough to pull up all of the pieces. I just don't have that much patience. Okay. There's also other things you can do with these. Let me just show you. So, you can see this is round, right? You can push these in. like this and then you have an oval so it's fun because you can do things with these that you really can't do with the work wreaths so you see here you see how it's oval shaped so what you'll end up with is more like space so to speak. So what I like to do is just take and do just like, you know, one little curl and then pull it in for a messy ruffle. Then I'm just gonna put it right in up here like this. Now, we quit doing that years ago. No colored eggs here. Yeah, happy Easter. Okay, so, I have some exciting news for y'all. Dawn and Susan are gonna take up the wreath retreat tradition, and they're gonna be doing the wreath retreats. So they've got one in September. Is it the 26th and 27th? Is that right, Dawn? And it's called um, Crafting in the Carolinas. So if you look up Crafting in the Carolinas, it'll come right up. I'll be there. So you'll see me as well. But I'm pretty excited. I'm excited for them. I will not be doing one this year. So if you want to go to a retreat, then you need to go to theirs. 
and they're both awesome designers. They have come and helped with mine for years. So they know how to do them really well. And they're even keeping up my traditions of the uh, 27th and 28th. There we go. They're even keeping up my traditions of the, um, the dress night, the costume night. And they're, of course, doing pirates, because if any of y'all know Susan, it had to be pirates. <laughs> okay. See how pretty that is? Look at that. So we got all the way around. I think I might put one more right here, and then we're going to go around the bottom. Oh, and where they're having it, there's like a really fabulous hotel, and there's a shuttle that goes from um, the airport to the hotel, so you don't even have to have a car. It'll even take you like out around the area, and it's only 30 minutes from Sims Pottery. So if you like going to Sims Pottery, you can just kind of like combine it. <laughs> so it's pretty exciting. Pretty, pretty exciting. There we go. I know it's so exciting for them, right? Susan is one of the designers in my design group. I tried to talk Donna into it, but she was busy. <laughs> but you'll get to see her design there. And they do have a payment plan if you want to if you want to be on like a six month payment plan you'll probably need to sign up pretty soon because so you'll have enough time there we go i know some people are at church services tonight she may just not be home I love lavender. Oh, Alabama one, huh? That'd make my husband excited. Both his parents went to Alabama, so he is a big Alabama fan. But he went to Tech, so he's a Tech fan. But he's a Tech and an Alabama fan. You getting your spot, Bailey? She's got to get her spot. Okay. There we go. You see how nice those look in there? You see how well it covers? It covers really well. It is, right? Whoops. I just knocked it right off my table. Because you know, it's not alive with me unless I've knocked something off the table. Hey, at least it's on this side of the table and not the other side where I can never get it. <laughs> well, I mean, I can get it now because I can walk around, but at least it's over here. <laughs> Yeah, do you have the, you still have that link I sent you, Z, for the retreat? Oh, Dawn. Oh, it probably won't let you do a link, Dawn, but it's just crafting in the Carolinas. It's craftinginthecarolinas.com, right? Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, did you make homemade burritos? Okay, I'll tell y'all. So, you know, I, I'm cooking every day again now. I got this really cool little, I love kitchen gadgets. <laughs> I'm a kitchen gadget person. I got this really cool gadget and it's um, for making the taco shells, you know, like for, um, yeah, I thought so. So I just got tortillas and put it in there and they came out so good. I mean, it was just like having the um, taco salad at the Mexican place. It was really good. So we were excited that came out really well. Let's see, let's put it right in here. I'm just putting the last one in a good spot. There we go. Okay, so you see how pretty that looks? Now, we're gonna take our ribbons. We're gonna put these two together. We're gonna do 13 inch tails. We're just gonna do some of each. I do like to do a little bit longer um, with these because we are gonna put some florals on it. Okay, hold on, I gotta throw these in the floor because they're, <laughs> they're annoying me. Okay. Oh, if you get my email, there should have been a link for the retreat in my email as well. It is a sign-in ribbon set. I have two of them, Deborah. Look, I have this one that has this. And then I have a pink and blue one. Let's see, what did I do with those ribbons? Ah, this is the ribbons for the pink and blue one. Look at how pretty. So we'll have to do that next. Oh, and look, this is one I'm getting ready to work on. It's um, blueberries. So how's the job going? Is it better? Let's do six, let's do eight, like eight ribbons. Okay. Eight ribbon tails. All right, and then we'll save the rest. Thank you. So anyways, I will be at the retreat. Hopefully, I'll for sure be helping and then maybe even a vendor there. Thought that would be fun. Alrighty. Okay. All right, so I'll just, so one side is one tail. So when you wrap it around, you're actually doing two at a time. Everyone should be able to enjoy their life. Oh, yeah. Is it very, very busy? That makes the day go fast though. You know, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. this too. This is that um, embossed ribbon. Isn't that pretty? I love this stuff. Now this one, I mean you can see it has a lot of nice color, but it does have a pattern on it. It's pretty. Okay, so 13 inches again. Four, 
x. See, one, two, three, four. I think I must have done, did I do seven or eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do seven. That'll work. Okay. All righty. making dinner we had so I made um, chicken in the crock pot I made chicken with um, stuffing on the top it was really good it was really good I love to make crock pot stuff because it's easy and it's so yummy and the meat is just like so tender and my dad he has dentures and they don't fit very well and so he has a hard time chewing and so we have so i, I usually cook a lot of stuff in the crock pot and we all like it so I try not to make the same thing all the time because that drives me nuts. All right, so we're going to take our ribbons. Okay, wait, first thing, let's go ahead and put our sign in. Okay, there's my wire. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the sign in. Uh, can you send me a picture? I can't make it exact because that wouldn't be fair, but I can make something similar for sure. Okay. All right. Let's get our... All right, so we're going to take our sign and do the bottom and the top. There. Okay. There we go. So this is 26 gauge wire and I like to double it up just because it gives it a little bit more strength and then I twist it. All right, and I'm going to put it right here on this side so that we can put um, a bow over on that side. It's just Lori at hardworkingmom.com. It's still the same. <laughs> I'm just going to push right down through the mesh like that. I'm going to do both sides, then we're going to flip it over and tie it in. Nope, I still have it. I don't really have the business name anymore, but um, they cannot have my email address. I told them that. They can't have that. Alrighty, so I'm just going to twist it around the frame here. Whatever is the easiest way to get it under. I just do it two or three times. Like that. Trim it off. There we go. See, here's the other one. 
So whichever one has more room, like if it's the top or the bottom, I just use that one. Oh, breakfast burrito, yum. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay, now let's put some ribbons in. Yeah, our dogs think our food is theirs too. <laughs> okay, so I just pinch it in the middle and do the little tails. To me, it looks like a little butterfly. I'm just gonna tie it in. So these won't be as close. Now we did use the same number of ties that we, or the same number of um, mess pieces like we normally do. So 18, but it's not gonna be exactly just like you can do it that way, but since we made it oval, we did, we're doing it a little different. Um, our dogs will eat anything, pretty much. Well, Sassy's a little bit pickier. Bella's not as picky. Bella will just, if I'm eating it, she thinks she needs it. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> That's cute. Sassy is our picky one. Ever since she had that um, little vascular event, is what they called it, she's been very picky. So we kind of have to mess around with her food a little bit, but. Bella, not so much. <laughs> okay. So I'm putting some down, some up. I want to get those pretty colors in there. I'm spreading them out so we can see them. Let's put one of these. Whoop, I messed up that one. Is that where they get in the trash? Wait, what's trash candy? What What's that? I need to know what this is. If it has the word candy in it, I probably like it. <laughs> I love anything sweet. I have such a terrible sweet tooth, it's awful. Just, it's my downfall. Yeah, they'll eat what I have. <laughs> Same thing here. Yeah, I don't know if that's, I mean, yeah, it's picky, but <laughs> it's our fault because we feed them, but hey, it's okay. I mean, who would want to eat that stuff they have to eat? Yuck, you know? I mean, bleh. Have you ever seen those commercials from the farmer's dog and they're like, no one should eat processed food for every meal of their life. Yeah, I think that's pretty true. But I make our dog food. So. Ha ha ha. 
I do love the Easter candy. It is so yummy, isn't it? Look how pretty this is. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to put a couple under here. There we go. So I'm just going to kind of move these and do them like this. So you can see them coming out the side. Okay. This way we get some of that pretty color over here. So I kind of pull them forward like this. And then I just find a piece I can tie onto under here. There we go. See, and then we have some ribbons kind of coming out from underneath there. I think you could probably get away with six of each. I cut seven, but I think you could do six. I really do think you could do six of each. Okay. Yeah, I think you could. So what we'll do is we'll use these two in the bow. All right. We're gonna put the bow in, and then we're gonna start putting the stuff around. So we're going to put this in, these um, purple ficus leaves, I'm obsessed with these, and then I have some little lavender roses, kind of like a bouquet type. Okay, so, alright, so we're going to do a bow. I like white chocolate. Do you like white chocolate? Let's do like maybe a 12 inch tail. Okay. I'll move some of this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. Alright. So we twist it. We're going to go to the six. We go sideways like this and we twist it on this side so the side where you're going to make the loop is where you twist it we're going to do two of each okay just like that and then we're going to do a little trick So I cut that one extra. So what you can do, this is a really great trick if you ever uh, make a bow and you don't have a ton of ribbon, you can make a kind of fake loop. All you do is take a piece and put it in. See, and then you just leave it right in the middle and it will kind of appear like it's a loop. It's a great way to kind of add a little extra without having to do a whole loop. Okay. Let's do... Yeah, let's do the purple next. Okay. We're going to do two of each loop. That's six inches. Okay. See how we come every time and go down through the middle. On the last one, where you're going to pull out your tie, your tail, 
You don't need to make a loop. You just go straight out. Okay, then we're going to take our purple one, put that one in. See how that kind of mimics a loop? Um, whoever has vanilla ice cream needs to share with the whole class. Okay. So two here. See how you can kind of run your hand under it and do this and then that will make the bow look fuller. Okay. All right. So I like to dovetail the two and a half. I don't usually dovetail the one and a half just because I like to curl it. And I will tell you, pretty much everyone at some point cuts their dovetail going the wrong way. The trick is to hold it up in the air, fold it over, and cut up towards the wire. If you do that, you'll get it right every single time. You won't make a mistake. I had to make myself start doing that because I would accidentally cut it the wrong way. <sighs> <laughs> it happens to all of us, but if you will do that, if you hold it up, it will work great. Okay, there we go. Okay, so see, I just hold it up, fold it in half, and cut up towards that wire. If you cut it wrong, you end up with a full point like that. All right. And we're gonna put this one here. Oops. There. Oh, I need. I need zip ties. Okay. Might as well get out of print. There we go. All right. So I'm just gonna take my zip tie, run it underneath the whole thing. I get it started and then I pull out the whole thing with the zip tie. It will come out without making it totally tight. And the reason I do that is, one, it just makes it easier. It's gonna keep the loops where they need to be. You can see where the indention is, right? So hold it on one side, move it around, and then kind of flatten it and make sure it stays in that indention. Then you can. I do make a center loop sometimes, but not very often. I don't know why. I just don't. It is. It is a good trick because I did that too. All right, so we're going to pull all of our tails out in the front. Look how cute. Can you see these little pieces that are kind of in here? Okay, so pull our tails out. There. All right. See how having this in the middle kind of almost makes it look like it has an extra loop in there? So these are just little tricks that you can use to make your bow look bigger without having to use as much ribbon. And you can put that anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be in the middle. It could be at the top. It could be in the middle. It can be wherever you want. Okay, so... When I'm fluffing the bow, I'm twisting it so that I can get all the little pieces that are stuck down in there because they get all folded over out because that's what prevents your bow from getting nice and fluffy. So you can see here how these have like that little piece stuck in there. Uh, these are 12 inch zip ties. 
I like to use bigger zip ties because it makes it easier for me to make sure I can get all the ribbon in there no matter how big a bow I get. There. See how pretty that little extra piece in there is? All right. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right here, right next to our sign. So I'm just tying it around the back and then I'll just push it right in to the wreath. So see, I tie it and then I just push it inside so that it won't scratch a door or anything. Then I just kind of Plump up my little loops again because they'll get messed up as you're tying them in. Hard to stop that. There we go. All right, so for the tails, I just like these to cascade and these I like to curl up. So I just use my thumbs. I just kind of put my thumb in there and walk it up this. These are all canvas ribbons, so they curl real nicely. Just like this and this. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to take this spider bows too. Okay, so you can see these have three main pieces. And the great thing is that you can really cut this up a lot. Okay, like this. So I cut the three pieces off. And then what you can do is flip it over backwards and it makes it easier to see where you can cut it. So I use the greenery wreath frame because it's easier to put the um, things like the florals in it. So you'll see. So with the, um, with the other kind of frame, you're stuck with putting it in where your ties are. But if you use one of these greenery frames, you can put it in wherever you want. Because all you do is find a piece of greenery and put it in. So that's why I like to do this. See, and I'll cut it up. It just gives you more versatility. And see, you're, I mean, you can't, if you look at this, you can't tell it's on a greenery frame. So there's no reason not to use them. It just gives you a lot more versatility in putting in florals and stuff like that. Okay. I usually cut off a few to put in the bow. And to put it in the bow, I just lift it up and glue it right in between the pieces. But you can see, you can get a whole lot. And I think these are like, I wanna say it's $12 for 12 of them, for 12 of these, which is great. So these are really economical to use in things. And they come in a bunch of colors. She has them in um, purple, pink, orange, black, red. I know I saw those colors. I think they come in yellow. Does that answer your question? Oh, good. Yes. It does make it a lot easier. So see, I can actually pull it back and I can put it in between, I'm not stuck with putting it where the ties are. So I can just kind of go around, put it where I want.
And by doing this, then I'm not going to disturb all of my ribbons either. I do like to put some under here as well. So what I do in my mind, I create an invisible circle around the wreath and I want everything to stay within that circle. And that's how you keep it from looking uneven. Because once you do it, if you hang it up, then you'll be able to see if you stayed, you know, within your circle. <laughs> I kept stepping on that bag. <sighs> so this was two of the stems. You can see two stems goes a pretty long way. Here. Okay. I need some in here. Right in there. And if you just kind of move it back and forth like this when you put it in, it'll you can make sure it's getting glued into that. Okay, so let's see. I need a piece up here. The great thing is if you needed to add more, it's real easy to just add more of these leaves. You can really break them up into many pieces. Okay. Okay. Then we've got these really pretty ones. This has a little zip tie around it. So these are made like bouquets, right? So like you would think like a wedding bouquet. So they have different kind of stems. They're basically like straws. If you've never worked with anything like this, they're kind of like straws with wire inside it. So you can see the wire inside it. If you ever want to make your own bouquet, that's what it is. It's a green straw, essentially, with a wire inside. Oh, happy anniversary. Okay. So see, if you ever made a like a candy bouquet or something, that's how you make them. You just take a green straw, a small one, and you just put the wire inside it. And that makes it look like a stem. So you can see there's several in here. See how cute that is? So we can just pull the little straw off like this, because we don't really need that. Well, that one came off, but we'll, we'll get it out. There we go. There. I usually kind of twist it. They glued this one in. There we go. Okay. Because all I need is the little wire. I don't need these. I just don't like dealing with those because they're real thick. It's great if you're going to put it in like a candy or an actual bouquet, but if you're trying to put it in a wreath or something, I take these off because you don't need them. And some of them don't want to come out, but they will. one left. Okay. 
So the next time you see one that looks like a bouquet, you'll know that there's actually wire inside those that you can just take those little pieces off. It's easier to work with. Sometimes I like to use the flowers that are in a bouquet because they're like three in one and they're just delicate and pretty, usually small roses or something like that. There. Now we can start putting some of these in. Some up here near the sign. one in here there see i like it because they're delicate they match the flowers that are on the side And there's actually a pretty good number of them. I think there were eight in total. These came from Michael's, but you can get them from a lot of different places. There. Put one down in here. Mother's Day is a very popular holiday for sure for wreaths. There we go. See, and then you can save these if you want to use them later. Because we'll be doing um, some candy bouquets. So I usually save these. To use like in my candy bouquets I can just take the wire out because I don't really need the wire but I keep little straw pieces so whenever I have bouquets I just keep these little pieces and I keep these so like when I have um, one that has leaves that I don't like a whole lot I'll keep the leaves and then we'll use them when we do our little candy bouquet Because all you need is some floral wire to put inside there in that little straw like this. Yeah. And we're going to do candy bouquets with um, <clears throat> some of these kisses. Now these are from, these are from um, Valentine's, but I got them because I really like the colors. So we'll use these. It's really easy. You take two of them together and we're going to make little rose buds. And the leaves and the little stems will help with that. So. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Nope. Wrong way. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. See, isn't that pretty? Why does this look it's not up high enough? Well, it's not. Okay, there we go. See how pretty that is? Can you see the little happy Mother's Day? Thank you. See, we got our bow. See how we have kind of an imaginary line? Now, remember, we made this into an oval, so it's not going to look exactly circular. Now you could, right? What you could do is take your sign and pull it off more to the side and then you can make it more 
round. But see, you cannot tell that it's an evergreen, can you? I just like the evergreens because they are, thank you, because they're just more versatile and you can do more with them. So one of the flags we're going to do coming up, we're going to do some swags. So I've had a couple people ask me to do swags. So, awesome. So that'll be fun. So we'll do, maybe we'll do the um, pink one next. I have this really pretty stuff to put in the pink and blue one. Let me show you. So we'll use, this is blue um, eucalyptus. Isn't it pretty? I mean, <laughs> with this pink ficus. <gasps> How pretty is that gonna be? So maybe we'll do this one as a swag. What do you think? I think we should do this one as a swag. Let's do the next one as a swag. That's what we'll do. We'll do the next one as a swag. So my live day is either gonna be Tuesday or Wednesday. We're still kind of trying to figure that out. It's because I have to, um, I have to kind of work out the schedule of when they're gonna be doing mom shots and stuff. So yeah. All right, y'all, this was fun, but you'll for sure see me on Fridays. So, I love how this turned out. Yeah, and we'll do the swag. We'll do a swag with the other one. So, that'll be fun. I know for sure what I'll use. In swags, I like to use this stuff. This stuff is called um, bead grass. And you see it looks like little beads on it. This stuff is my favorite. <laughs> I love this stuff. I love this stuff. And they do have it at Hobby Lobby. So I actually get this from um, Sims Pottery, which is my wholesaler. But they have this at um, Hobby Lobby as well. So. Oh, and I was going to tell y'all, um, Stephanie, so Festive Creations by Stephanie, got in some of the um, M's bow makers, if y'all are looking for them, she got some more in. <clears throat> so I saw that earlier. All right, y'all have an awesome Easter weekend. And um, I will see you guys next week for sure. <laughs> I still think that's falling out. All right, bye y'all. Y'all have a great,